my next guest stars as the uh, new bartender on NBC's uh, award-winning show. You see all award winners tonight. <laughs> Cheers, which airs on Thursdays at 9. He's also in the movie Wildcats. Would you welcome, please, Woody Harrelson. Well, you see what happens when you get on a, a show like that? An award-winning show. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for dressing up, Woody. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I like that's the way to dress out here in California, right? Well, that's what I figure. You know, I'm trying to adapt a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You're, you're, from, you're from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're about in Texas. Houston. Houston. Mm -hmm. Grew up there. Thank you. But you didn't come to Hollywood first. You went to... To New York. To New yeah. York. How come? Well, uh... Did you go there to get specifically, I want to be in show business? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I went there to starve. I, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> that was kind of a dumb question, wasn't it? Where did you want to starve first? Oh, yeah. well, what were you doing in Houston? You went to school there? And, and... No, I, was, I moved to Houston with my best friend, Clint Allen. And, uh, How's Clint? <laughs> it's nice to ask. That's good, yes. He's you He's doing quite Clint. well. He's, he's working on a, a play right now in New York, Big River. Good, give my best. Thank you, I will. <laughs> Hopefully he's watching. Okay. I, um, so I, I moved to uh, Houston with him, and we saved up money, and we decided to move to New York, of course, yeah. because he got accepted to Juilliard. And I said if he got accepted, that I would go with him. Of course, I thought it was like one in a million shot. You know, Obviously, so. Clint is a musician. Uh, no, he's, a, he's an, actor. an actor. They have an actor. But you weren't accepted to Juilliard. No, uh, no, they didn't accept me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't consider it. So but, you, ta um, you tagged along with Clint to go to, to New York. Yeah, and so, yeah, we threw, like, our speakers and a copy of Ayn Rand's Fountainhead, and we drove up to New York. Yeah, all of you have read that. And we drove up to New York, <laughs> and, uh, and, and when we got there, as soon as we got there, the, we, we got through unpacking, and we walk out, and the car was gone, you know? <laughs> Welcome to New York. It was yes. it. Yeah. So we knew every story we ever heard about New York was true right then. And uh, it turned out it had been towed away. Down by the East River, I think, or the Hudson right. River. They yeah, have that, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we went to try to retrieve it because we couldn't really afford to pay for it. So we were going to steal it back. But uh, yeah, they, really, they really hit you in New York if, if they pick your yeah, car. Yeah, 75 uh, big ones. Yeah. yeah, to get your car back out. All right, yeah. So how did you get your car out? You didn't have the 75 No, miles. we eventually had to come up with the money, but we were this close to the car, I think, before some security guard said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? So, you were uh, actually going to steal your car back? Yeah, well, we were going to steal it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened good in New York for you? Something happened to happen good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, I went through like 17 jobs in a year. I couldn't really hold a job. You know? What kind of stuff did you do? Uh, I... Actually, I bartended one time in a Broadway house. Did you run? And, uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I also worked uh, a lot of restaurants, but I, I couldn't wait tables. You know, I could get up in front of 1,500 people and do a play, but to get up in front of two people and recite the menu, impossible. <laughs> That's couldn't interesting. Why is that, do you think? I don't is know. Is it I, a close personal always... relationship? Uh, that's hard to, to, to describe. It's just that when they're asking me what's in lox and bagels, I just kind of blank, you know, because <laughs> lox, I said, it's kind of a fishy substance, yeah. man. I don't know. There's so, nothing in lox, it's <laughs> just lox, right? I don't think you make it up with ingredients. It's, it's it. That's interesting for an actor, though. When you're on a stage performing, you're kind of removed. You know, you're, you're up here well, yeah, and over there. Now all right. of a sudden you're face to face. So the waiting didn't go good, huh? Uh, no, no, not at all. And so, you know, I kept getting fired, and eventually I, I got to be a cook for about, um, about a month and a half in this dive restaurant. Yeah. And the last thing that happened there was I, I got into this uh, argument, which turned into a fight with the manager. <laughs> what did you argue about? Uh, the manager's husband, actually. Um, well, she was telling me, clean this up, clean this up, and I said, look, I got my own timetable. I like to read, you know, during this time. While you're working, you mean? <laughs> yeah. I see. Cook has to read a car or something. <laughs> she didn't go for it either, uh -huh. you know. So, um, and so she tells me to do this, and I finally said, no, you can take this job and you right. can keep it. Right. So, um, <laughs> so she tells me, you can't, you can't quit, because who else is going to replace me? I'm working until 3.30 in the morning, every right. morning, this dive restaurant. So I leave, and I'm, I'm 
I'm trying to change, but I was wearing her whites, you know, the whites, and she says, you got to change out of these whites, and I'd worn them there. And so I changed into these bums clothes at the time, and I pulled them on, and I'm walking out, and she's yelling at me, and I go back into the restaurant. You know, you got to go out and down these fence. And I go back into the restaurant, and she kind of slams the door at my head. So I slam it back at her, and her husband jumps on me, and while he's, we're fighting each other, and then his arm comes around my neck. It was like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I turn around, it's this guy's friend. I turn around, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, <laughs> and so we started, you know, going at it, and, uh, and then the cops came, and they sided with them, and I lost my money. This is a true story. Yeah. I lost my money that uh, she'd pay me $126, and so I said, I'm leaving New York. And so I made a reservation for a week from that day. And, uh, and that was it. And three days later, I got... But look at all the things you've got to draw now as an actor. They always say all these experiences <laughs> come back. Somebody said you signed your first autograph the other day? True? Oh, Recently? no. That wasn't... No, it wasn't the other day. It really? Was... Some time ago? Yeah, but yeah. that was pretty exciting, yeah. When so, you first became known, somebody came up to you and said... Right. Yeah, that was very exciting. Yeah. Because I thought to myself, who would want my name on a piece of paper? Just, you know... At the time, it doesn't make sense to you. Yeah. Now it makes lots of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Success certainly hasn't changed you, Woody. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>